so far though, everything that we've looked at has only been in the acute sense, meaning we stretch and it decreases performance one time. So logically, we say this is a negative. The reason we say this is a negative for powerlifting is because since volume is a primary driver of both muscle growth and strength, if you were to stretch before every training session, it could possibly decrease the amount of repetitions you could do or the amount of volume that you could handle. If that decreased every training session and you, some, person A and person B were the same strength, but person A stretched and they couldn't complete all their volume or they did fewer repetitions than person B who didn't stretch, well then theoretically person B would get better adaptations, right? That actually does seem to be the case in a recent study as we're filming this, published in 2017. So in this study, we can see an RT group, which is resistance training, and then a flex RT group, which did what they called flexibility training or static stretching immediately before exercise, where the other group, just RT, did no flexibility or static stretching training. So both groups here did four sets of 80% to voluntary failure, and they did either two sets of 25 seconds of static stretching or control. So what we can see here, and this is lower body strength, now let's look at mean repetitions in RT. Well, in weeks one to five in RT, they were able to do about 37 repetitions, right, over those four sets per session. In the group that did static stretching, they did on average about seven less repetitions. We'll look at total training volume. You can see an asterisk on the left side of your screen. Mean total training volume was greater in the first five weeks in the resistance training group that did not do static stretching. In week six to 10, the same thing. So if you look now up to the top right, this is looking at the percentages increase in skeletal muscle growth. Well, there was less volume in the flexible RT group or the static stretching group and the open bar, meaning that they got less hypertrophy, le a lower percentage change in hypertrophy or muscle growth. That would likely have negative outcomes for strength in the long run. So from a powerlifting perspective, we do seem to be, have some confirmation here, at least in, in one study, that not only are we just acutely harming performance, but if we continually do this, it'll harm the amount of volume that we can do which should also harm hypertrophy and possibly strength adaptation. So further driving that relationship home between volume and skeletal muscle hypertrophy. So acutely decreasing muscle stiffness will decrease performance. Decreasing performance means decreasing volume, possibly decreasing muscle adaptations in the long run. So just to kind of reiterate this process, do we have it on the slides even though we've talked it out? Let's talk about the mechanism just a bit more. We've seen this figure before in skeletal muscle plasticity in unit two. So for the musculotendinous unit, right, when we talk about stiffness, it's not just the muscle, it's the MTU, the musculotendinous unit stiffness. So you can see a tendon attaches muscle to bone, right? That's the MTU. That's what we're talking about is held at a certain length. So if we have this, again, this is its length. Now, if we want to get the recoil, where we go into that eccentric portion, it will stretch out, right? And then it will recoil. But if we stretch and hold, instead of being held at the length on the left, right here, it's now held at a longer length. So that's called the stress relaxation, right? When you stretch and you hold that, you're placing stress on the musculotendinous unit, meaning that stress is gonna cause it acutely for a few hours to be held at a longer length. Now, ultimately, that's because there's a deformation of the muscle and the tissues around the muscle. Then it's going to creep into the muscle, meaning that when you have that creep, it's held here, it can't recoil to the same length, right? So that's the problem with what we're talking about.